Misty's Awkward Life. Christy's Awkward Life was filmed in front of a live studio audience. said would be accepting of our son's lifestyle. Now, Chrissy, okay, listen, you wake up, you make your bed. That way you can always say you've done something with your day, okay? And Tylee, we know beds can get pretty messy, right? <laughs> oh, I know they can get messy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, I think your mom and me are getting a phone call. Let's go, honey. <laughs> oh my, was this him just watching gay porn? You know, I think he was. <laughs> Faggot. My name is Gray, and we are with the Stigmata Massacre. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Malcolm. And what do you do? I'm a guitarist and okay. Jeremy, vocalist. Ryan, drummer. Dom, bass. How and when did this band start? I've been doing music since I was about 13 years old. Um, and I took a break from it for a while, and uh, I just thought that it was time to start making music again, because it's something that I love to do, so I found all three of these guys. So the band name, how did that come about? When I was coming up with, you know, starting this project, I was watching the movie The Stigmata, actually. So is it a movie or a documentary? It's a movie. Okay. And then I got more interested as to what it exactly is about, so I was watching a documentary on it. And it strikes me as pretty crazy that uh, there's thousands of documented cases of Stigmata, which is wounds that are inflicted. Um, just like Jesus Christ was while being crucified, you know, crown of thorns, okay. and cuts, and out of thousands of documented cases, there was only two that actually did occur. It just reminded me of people, you know. Um, Six bastards. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah most definitely, but uh, it just, it, it struck me because it shows how fake some people can be. The Stigmata Massacre, as in referring to people, is, uh, you know, the real people are dying off these days, yeah. and the fake ones are the ones that are rising. Uh, so what kind of music do you guys play? Do you guys oh, pick no. a genre? I know that's oh, hard. Oh, no, no one wants to say that the way, a genre. What we say to people is, listen to our stuff, you decide. 
decide for yourselves. If you could go a movie plus a movie equals a movie, what would it be? All right. I think Terminator. <laughs> Terminator. Terminator. Right. Terminator. Just straight Terminator down. one plus Terminator two. <laughs> And pure metal equals Terminator 3. <laughs> Got it. That worked. What kind of show do you guys put on? Is it more of like a production or is it just come and watch us fucking rock? It's, it's a mix. It's, it's a, mix, a mix, actually. Okay. Um, we do have uh, a stage proper too. Actually, we have a mic stand that's a mutilated mannequin with her chest rip open. Oh, that's yeah. yeah the inside, lighting, so we use that for Really shows. metal. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to show you guys after. Yeah. This is Mary. Bastard. We gave her a name. Mary. Yeah. yeah. There's just something about Mary. This is my other woman. She doesn't talk back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this whole program is to get local bands to really develop a camaraderie amongst each other and also to get people to just want to be a part of something, you know? I think everybody wants to have this family or something like that and there's a lot of negative things that could happen and we're, tr we're really trying to develop something positive for the community and, you know, especially for bands and people that are fans of music. What would you guys like to see happen with the music culture that is in Salt Lake City? I'd like to see everybody communicate a little bit better and quit trying to uh, compete, really. Okay. We're, we're not competing, we're, we're all here trying to yeah. get people to listen. But or at least a healthy competition. Yeah, just a healthy you know. competition at least. Yeah, just better communication between bands. Maybe just make a little bit more about uh, just the, your passion instead of a competition. Yeah. Because we're all here to do this. Like, like we were yeah. talking, you know, it, whether you like the music or not, you yeah. know, support is support. We're all driving towards that same end goal. If you're going out to a show, to just go see one band, why not stick around and yeah. watch all of them? You, you know? may find your next favorite band. Yeah, exactly, you know, and there's just, you know, also, if you're going to pay for a ticket, yeah. a 10 $15 <laughs> yeah. ticket, you show up for one band, you just wasted your money. Yeah. How many shows would you guys say that you see in a month? A amongst all of you. You know, like even if one person is going out, three, four. that's five, great, four. you know, yeah. and that, that's really what we're trying to do is to get people out and see more shows, you know, at the very least once a month, you know, yeah. Yeah. just stuff and hopefully to go and see bands that you've never even heard of just because it's a Friday night and you want to go see some kick-ass music. Yeah. yeah. January 10th is the show. Murray it's the Theater. local showcase, <laughs> Murray Theater. Um, are there any things that you guys have in the works for that. Uh, new song. New song? Hopefully, new hopefully song we have or it. Or two even. Yeah, or two. Maybe uh, we just try to get them down and perfected for the show. Yeah, my thing is I want to I want to make it the biggest show uh, for us of the year. It's, 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 oh, yeah. it's, it's going to be the last the year. Yeah. Also, it's going to be our last couple shows for the winter. Yeah, okay. I mean, we're going to have January 10th, um, Murray Theater year, and then in the venue January 17th, the weekend after. But I want to, we want to make sure that Murray Theater is one of the shows that is packed. You guys said that you're looking to come out with an album. I'm assuming probably after those shows where you can settle down and get uh, stuff recorded. Yeah, yeah, over the winter we're taking time. We're, we're going to so be doing an EP. 10th is at Murray Theater, local showcase. 17th is, is at In The Venue. We're really excited to see you guys and see what you guys can come up with. Yeah. All right, thanks for tuning in and thanks for having us, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're the Stigmata Massacre, and thank, thank you guys for watching Culture Shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can try again. We are, we the, are Stigmata the Stigmata Massacre. Massacre. Thank, thank, thank you for you watching, watching Culture, Culture Shock. Shock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Stigmata Massacre, and thank you guys for watching Culture Shock.